Hi, this is Shion, and welcome to another episode of Rhino Tutorials. In this session, we're going to model the object you see here using the Mesh and SubD tools in Rhino. First, switch to the top view and use the Mesh Plane command. In the command options, set X count to 3 and Y count to 2. To modify the created Mesh Plane, hold down CTRL plus Shift, select this part, and delete it. Now, still holding CTRL plus Shift, select the bottom parts and scale them using the gumball. While keeping CTRL plus Shift pressed, select the vertical parts this time and scale them again with the gumball. Next, select the entire mesh and mirror it along this axis. After that, Use the array linear command to copy it as many times as you need. Select all the created objects, join them together using join, and weld their edges with the weld command. Now, select the resulting object, rotate it 90 degrees, and move it to the origin point zero using the move command. Use the orient command and in the command options, set copy to yes, then select to base points and to target points to copy the object in the required directions. After that, select all the objects and join them together. Now, we'll use the taper command. To use this command you need to create a vertical axis at the center of the object. Hold shift. Go to the Osnap panel, and click between. Then, click to diagonal points at the bottom square of the object. Hold CTRL, and click the same point again to create a vertical axis. Make sure the height of this axis is correct, adjust the tapering to your desired level. Next, use the twist command. For this, you also need a vertical axis. Repeat the same steps as for the taper command. Hold shift, activate between in the Osnap panel, select to bottom points of the object, and finally hold CTRL to create the required axis. Twist the object to your desired degree. Now here's the thing. We built the object as a mesh, but we want to convert it to subd. Just select the object and use the to subd command. Once that's done, you can delete the mesh object and keep the subd object. To add thickness to the new object, use the offset subd command. In the command options, set solid and delete input to yes. Finally, to smooth the object's edges, use the remove crease command and select all the edges to make them smooth. After that, hold CTRL plus shift, double click the edges. and use the crease command to make them sharp. That's it for this tutorial, hope you enjoyed it. 